a nation exists to serve its citizens. Americans want great schools for their children, safe neighborhoods for their families. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. We call BS! The people in the government who were voted into power are lying to us. Parkland is Las Vegas tonight. It's Sutherland Springs, Texas. It's Charleston and Columbine. It's Oak Creek and Newtown. Inside my heart a little while. The students who are dead, the students still in the hospital, the students who are now suffering from PTSD, the students who had panic attacks during the vigil because the helicopters who wouldn't leave us alone. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. We are going to be the kids that you read about in textbooks. Not because we are going to be another statistic about mass shootings in America, but because we are going to be the last mass shooting. This is Parkland tonight. Points of light shining in the darkness. And guys, look, this isn't about red and blue. We can't boo people because they're Democrats and boo people because they're Republicans. We know that they're claiming that there are mental health issues, and I am not a psychologist, but we need to pay attention to the fact that this isn't just a mental health issue. He wouldn't have harmed that many students with a knife! So we give our voices, so we give our voices to the ones who've left us. So you say, what can you do? You can stop the guns from getting into these children's hands! What can you do? You can do a lot! This is not fair to our families that our children go to school and have to get killed! No parent should have to go through this. No parent to have a kid die. And she's like, I gotta go, Dad, bye. And I don't always get to say, I love you. I don't remember if I said that to Jamie yesterday morning. These people are getting rich sitting in Congress. And what do they do? They don't take care of our kids. My kid died because nobody responded to what occurred at Sandy Hook. Those parents lost little kids. It's bad enough that I lost my 20 year old, but I had 20 years with my son. That's all I ever have. But those people lost their children at six and seven years old. How do you think they feel? And who's talking to them now? Who's doing anything for them now? Who is standing up for those kids that died back then in an elementary school? Why wasn't something done? It's outrageous. And this is about people who are for making a difference to save us and people who are against it and prefer money. So, Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA? In the future? buy into my agenda. We call BS! Right now, I just think we need to, to, to take a breath and collect the facts. This is not the time to jump to some conclusion not knowing the full facts. We so I just think what you don't do is knee-jerk and say, let's just take away a citizen's rights. We call BS! Politicians who sit in their gilded house and senate seats funded by the NRA telling us nothing could have ever been done to prevent this. We call BS! We want gun reform. We want common sense gun laws. We want stronger mental health checks and background checks to work in conjunction. We want a better age limit. We want privatized selling to be completely reformed so you can't just walk into a building with $130 and walk out with an AR-15. And we're going to come to every single meeting with every single legislator prepared. In response to President Trump, I would say this. How dare you? You're the president. You're supposed to bring this nation together, not divide us. We know what we want. We want change.